recording, so you got a nice shot of me. <laughs> hey, I'm Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides, and I'm back here at Effling in the Netherlands. You may have seen my video about this park from last year. If you haven't, there's a link here and I'll link it in the description below. It's an amazing theme park, one of the best in the world and definitely probably one of the best in Europe. Oh, I almost messed it up. One of the best theme parks in the world. They have great themed dark rides, great themed roller coasters like Joris and the Drak. Been there, done that. It's awesome, we'll do it again. The indoor, outdoor, boat ride, roller coaster, Fliegende Hollander. Been there, done that. It was great, do it again. But the real reason I'm here today, besides all of that, is because they built a gigantic new roller coaster called Baron 1898. The ride alone would be great, but the theming around it makes it even better. The story goes that a greedy old baron has found gold underground and opened a mining operation to get rich. However, the mine is being guarded by the White Women, which comes from an actual old legend here in Europe. You run into the White Women a few times during the entire experience, but I won't tell you exactly when or how so you can be surprised when you ride it yourself. Of course, I knew there was going to be theming before I got to Effling today, but I just didn't realize that it was going to be like this good. They did such a good job. Check out the ride, and I'll talk to you again when it's over. That is such a great ride. I'm trying to figure out like what to compare it to. It's kind of like Kraka at Haida Park, uh, but there's more elements to it. Of course, it's not like as huge as Griffin or Shikra at Busch Gardens, but because of the story, the, the pre-show elements, like the actual pre-show before you get onto the ride, and then there is a pre-show in the ride, it's all just such a complete, immersive experience and I'm so glad that there's parks like Effling that that realize that it's worth it to spend the extra money to to build a story around a ride because I think ultimately that's like that's what makes it interesting to go visit a park again of course a park that has a bunch of just really great roller coasters and stuff like that that's always fun to visit but something you know like this it just I don't know it just adds the extra special something that makes me want to do it over and over again and go visit the park over and over again because it's like you're it's not only like you're seeing a story it's like being part of the story i don't know does that make sense do you understand what i'm saying well i'm definitely going to uh take the time to ride this again it's actually still right behind me can you see the tracks here oh they're coming they're coming some screamers on that one I'm definitely going to take the time to ride it again. Of course, it's a brand new ride, so it's very popular. They do have a single rider line, I think I saw, so maybe we'll check that out. And otherwise, I'm just going to spend the day enjoying the park. And the last time that I was here, so many people posted on the video, oh, you didn't you didn't go see the whole fairy tale park because we just didn't have time. So I'm going to see that today too. So check the links below for that video. When it's finished, you'll know. And I'm also, we're staying at the Effling Hotel tonight, so watch for that video as well. I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.